Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! For those of you that don't know, my name is Twitchy and this is my server! Minecraft 1.14 dropped this week and I thought I would restart the map on the Patreon server, but this time I'm going to open it up to the public because, well, the half-life of the Patreon server was pretty short having such a, a limited whitelist. So yeah, I'm going to open it up for those that are integrated enough in the community to try and find where we've hidden the IP address. Ah, oh, decipher. So yeah, I reopened the server and my first thought was, hey, let's have an end rush. So I... Ow. went around and streamed the first weekend we streamed an end rush for the dragon now i had slotted about four or five hours for this on the second day we managed to get enough ender pearls together to be able to uh to get to the end uh there is stream there is record there is a oh look well, that just went through to the to the nether there. There is a video of our efforts, but it's an absolute mess. Absolute horrific, horrific mess. I do not recommend watching it, though it is on my channel if that's what you want to do. So quite a few of us took part in the uh, the little rush here. You can see that Brum actually took part of it. Painton was his friend that came along. There was me, Miss Alone, Forest Mad, Frank, who totally showed up at the last moment to sweep all the glory. Um... Ant and Ash, they were taking part. Yeah, there was a, a very large number of us who were doing things wise. If I've forgotten your name, I do apologize. Comrade Head Crab. There there were there were many, many, many of us. And we had great times going around. Actually trying to make this place as um Enderman spawn friendly as possible. Because as I'm sure you can imagine, with a whole bunch of us on the server, uh the spawn rates were not favorable for the people hunting specifically Enderman. But anyway, overnight, whole groups of people like really put the grind in and got the whole portal open. So we could eventually, oh look, they've opened it up a little bit more. So we could eventually come on up here and have fun. Oh, here's Wise himself now. He's called Potato Potatoes, um, but Wise is like white in German. He's like white, white Tasseltoff or something like that. I can't remember the, the German word for uh, potato. Not German, just uses a German name. But yeah, we came along and we uh, we fought the dragon. Some of us managed to uh, get some dragon's breath, but the vast majority of us were just, just interested in keeping alive. It kind of worked out well for most of us. I died once, but that was post-dragon fight, I believe. Yeah, it was good fun. And then we got to uh, finish the game. But of course, as we all know, finishing the game in Minecraft is not actually finishing the game. There is a great big journey ahead of us. And the first part of this journey is to try and make spawn a livable place. Now, I have had this idea in my head for quite some time that spawn should have a skyscraper, right? But not just a skyscraper. The spawn building itself should be a Small skyscraper, if you will. Sem like a, a few numbers of floors, but definitely nowhere near up to build height. And then I would like to surround it in much more impressive buildings. And that's all coming along nicely. That is all coming along nicely. But we are missing some pretty serious resources. Not only like just the sheer amount of stone that we need to pave things over and make us a nice little harbour wall and things like that that are going down, but we don't really have much sand that's not like ripping down the beaches that are around and it's kind of nice to keep the beaches that are around for you know beachy things so we've got a stream later on today it is currently tuesday uh and i am going to um meet up with a few friends try and get everyone together on the server and maybe we can like spread out in a spider web type fashion and find some of these resources particularly uh like uh a desert that's not already inhabited by players, a mesa that we can just rip to pieces, and maybe the same for a nice spikes biome. I do know there's some deserts out there, but people have already found like desert villages and inhabited the villages, and I don't think it would be really nice if we just kind of like turn up and rip out the entire desert from underneath them. But yeah, I will uh, see you guys after that. So it's been about 12 hours since the stream. I've uh, gone around and done a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, well, I mean... Forest knows what's going on, but that's not what's going on here anyway. I'm going to start building the stairs essential for the breeding business. Okay, cool. Brilliant. I don't, I don't care about all that right now. What I want to do is tell you guys about the building that I am working on. So, we went around in the stream and we were trying to find sand. We found a jungle. We found ice plains biomes. We, uh, we did all sorts of wonderful exploring and got thousands of blocks covered. But you might be able to tell from my tone of voice that we did not get the sand. No, no, no. I did manage to grab, uh, I don't know, a chest full of sand whilst just walking around and, uh, like, 
digging up beaches and stuff like that. So I'm moving on with the spawn build here. So the idea for the spawn build is we're going to have an ex a hexagonal tower. No, not hexagonal. Stop. That's the word I'm trying not to say. An octagonal tower in the middle here. You can see one side, two sides, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, nice and simple. And then on the diagonal sides, I want to build some sort of, not not a buttress, but some sort of like containing feature, a, 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 a thing that comes up out of and reaches up to the side. I, th I think that would be pretty solid, but I've been working on a, a couple of designs here. I don't like the fact that I can see the gaps through the middle there, which might just mean all I need to do is uh, move uh, those up. But over on uh, this side, uh, this, so this started with blocks on the side here. Let, let's go and put those into play. Oh, I actually picked up a trident off of that guy. Oh, I did not realize. Um, just a moment ago, Zed Tech was getting attacked and we couldn't find spot where it was coming from. And I managed to spot him and I killed him. And I thought that was that, but I got a trident. And that is amazing. Okay, that's that one in place. So the reason that it's been such a long time since the stream is that literally the last of my food. That is legit the last of my food. Uh, anyway, the, the reason it's been such a long time since the stream is because we're playing on a super public server and I forgot that on super public servers you, you need to just lock down any and all anti-cheat protection you have. I thought maybe, just maybe, with it being friends and invites only at the moment, because, you know, no one from outside the community has found the IP address, that maybe we can get away with it. But no, there's been at least four or well three or four uh reports of x-raying going on and stuff like that so pfft, just had to lock it down no problem okay so that's what it looks like with the side wings on actually it kind of looks a little bit better now that i'm looking at it again maybe what we'll go for is this sort of forward design carry that on up hmm yeah i've i've got lots of lots of decisions to be making maybe what we want to do is just build a, a curvy thing and then put a cap on it hmm yeah i'm not sure so obviously we're not going to be building this out of dirt they're going to be making this out of some sort of stone i think uh taking a leaf out of scars book though because i do not want to build down a whole thing and then have this same level of uh indecision on the shape and then end up having to rip it all down so yeah I'm going to work on this a little bit more and hopefully get four of these up. Ah, oh, just had a productive morning with Wise and Gorgon Opsid laying out the route of another road. Turns out we're going to have a tunnel here, which leads me to think how are we going to get the road up the hill to make some like swanky um, mansions or stuff like that. I don't know, but we're having a competition on the server at the moment. Our friends, the server needs you. The spawn is dark and we need a lamppost design because, I mean, like, look, Look, look at this. That That's unacceptable. So people are coming along and making their designs. People are remembering, of course, that it's early game and not everybody has like stacks and stacks and stacks of sea lanterns. Uh, you can see why is this possibly... No, he's going up high. The thing I would have a concern with here is, of course, you know, this only puts a lot... Uh, Light level, let's see where it is. A block level of 11, 10, 9, and then this torch is taken over again. But that means it's only about this far away before we need to start thinking, maybe the other side of the road, before we start thinking about another lamppost. So, yeah. But anyway, I switched it all up on you. I actually worked on the bottom part of my building rather than the, uh, the buttresses. I really don't know what to call these things on the side. I, I want to call them buttresses, but they're not really. They're just kind of like decorative clamps but anyway i've got a much better design on the go the last thing you saw was a bit like tombstoney or something like that. i didn't like it Blech. really didn't like it this stuff though i i kind of like it. it looks a little bit more spindly uh i was originally thinking maybe like glass or something like that something that's a, a little bit translucent and a bit like ooh, mystical but i'm using a lot of glass on this build and i'm like nah 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 let's not let's use this smooth sand uh, smooth stone stuff I've only got a little bit uh, right now, but I am cooking a furnace's worth over there, and I think that's going to work well. It's got a half slab to help the transition, and should look sort of suitably industrial. I noticed that we're we're building up quite a dystopian city centre here. You know, we're not we're not talking crystals and uh, and white surfaces, are we? No, we're talking greys and depression. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we've got a little bit more done than I normally would in between a little jump cut like that, but I would actually like to go around and show you guys what's been going on on the server rather than just what's been going on with this build. But I'm pretty much finished, apart from that one iron bar, bar missing there. Oh, I don't know how I managed to do that. But anyway, we're pretty much finished here, apart from the external landscaping, which is definitely 
something that I need to think about? I mean, water wall quartz is obviously an option. <clears throat> no, anyway. So, uh, there's a few things I want to show you about this place, guys. But I think what we're actually going to do is I'm going to make my way up and I will show you kind of like the spawn-in walk, if you will. What, what you would experience if you were the person spawning in. Okay, first thing to note, this build is only about 80% done. You've, that becomes strikingly apparent when you get up here onto the roof because I haven't put any decoration up here to deal with. And I'm not sure whether I want the clouds on or off. Let me know, guys, what you think. Man, this is... This is a thing to think about here. Uh, there is not. Uh, I, I will. I will figure that out in a moment. Uh, last stream we got together and built a thing. Uh, that was great fun. I will talk about that when we get down there. But yeah, first thing you spawn in. I want to have a few things up here. I don't know, a radio antenna and stuff like that. I'm just wary about the fact that people might want to try and jump over the side. I don't want them to do that because the first thing we have, the first thing we have coming down here are the rules. Yes, indeed. Before we get to that, though, I want to show... Oh, I meant to bring a piece of glass with me. I broke that whilst breaking one of these, and I wasn't using a silk touch pick, and oh, it was all just so bad. First thing I want to point out are these one-way doors. Because we're in the spawn chunks... Uh, well, it's not even the spawn chunks. The spawn protected protection radius. Uh, people can't use the doors, which uh, actually came as a bit of a surprise to me, but someone came up here, spawned up on the roof, and then, like, walked came down and these were like this with some uh well it was just like this actually uh and they were like i can't use the doors i was like you kidding and he's like no 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 so these now like these are open so that when you walk in and stand on the pressure plates they close and these ones open so it's kind of like a one-way door system so once you once you spawn in you you come in to the rules now first off strong wording i know i know but i think it's worth reiterating let's start with a no stealing if a chest is not marked as public don't take the items out of it i mean it's pretty pretty serious this uh general catch-all rule here you can harvest any crop but you must replant it pretty pretty standard and pvb by agreement only if the other person hasn't gone yeah all right let's have a fight don't hit them it's as simple as that it is as simple as that and no griefing if you did not build uh, if you did not make a build don't break it that, that that's also really really simple and the uh, bonus rules here vanilla survival to a beat no mods no hacks no unfair texture packs yeah, so um, if, you, if you could just stick to that, that would be uh, great. Now, coming down further into the thing, I want to build a strandler here, for starters. I've got these uh, fence posts to stop people jumping across, but I reckon a little bit of glowstone, some uh, white uh, glass panes and blocks. I, th I think it would be, be wonderful. Coming down here, uh, we have uh, an, a reserved level, a reserved level. Uh, we've got like an armor stand book. You, know, you guys know the armor stand book, right? It allows you to po pose armor stands and do other wonderful things with them, make them invisible and stuff like that. I want that to be available to everyone on the server because that is just a, a beautiful thing for um, it, like expression in the area. Now, obviously, you know, too many armor stands can destroy a server, but I don't think anybody's going to be making that many. Uh, and also reserve space for anything else that happens to be going on. Maybe some community guidelines, just things that are nice to do uh, and then the next levels down i want to open up as a space for people to advertise their businesses because obviously there are a lot of people on this server and not everyone knows what is going on so we were gonna uh portion up these areas and figure out a way uh a fair way of distributing them out so people can come down make their little advertisement space let people know what is going on so that's that, that's pretty nice. And then you come down into, like, the main area here. People ask me, uh, why not water columns? In fact, no one's asked me that. I have thought myself, why not water columns? Uh, and that is mainly because I want to filter people past the, the advertisements and the... Uh advertisements and the rules you know it's, it's kind of like when you go to a shop and they have an escalator up but you have to walk down because they you know they want you to go look at stuff but they don't want you to leave this dark space in the background over here i want to make into a giant service server notice board should be should be relatively simple right should be relatively simple ah <sighs> Right, well, that's pretty good. Let's go and have a look at what is going on around the server. First, we're going to come out of here because Brom has been busy. Oh, look at this. Uh, I really wish I could do, like, you know, little um, little talks with people, but most people are currently AFK. It's uh, currently, like, 2 in the afternoon right now, and, uh, yeah, that's... Most people aren't aren't available for, for little tours, but, yeah, we've got Brom over here. I think I think he's actually getting to the point where he's going to be full. Yeah, look at this. Okay, that's that's a thing. I'm not sure what to do in this situation. Um, I'm not sure whether, like, 
items are building up on the ground or not. You know, how many items do you have to get to before server performance is impacted? I don't know. I don't know. Why it's just one or two, it's not really something to worry about. Well, when, you know, we get... Uh, there's been upwards of, like, 17 people on the server at once. No, that can't be true. It can only have 16 people. But we've, we've maxed out anyway. That's my point. Um... Yeah, we've maxed out before, and if like half of those do an AFK farm, and then they all end up with like I don't know, twenty-five, thirty items at their feet, uh, then that is going to be uh, not great. Have I not slept? I've not slept. Let me, let me, let me deal with this. All right, all right let's start in town, shall we? First, I want to come down here and be like, hey, look at the group build that we did on stream. Isn't it great? I think it is great. We need to uh, finish up the floor and actually make it a functional build inside. Is there a turtle in here? Oh, no, it's just the grass. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we need to finish the... Ruby left the game. You were AFK. That's a little bit unfortunate. We need to finish the floor. We need to put down the chest. This is going to be a, like a food dispensary, if you will, uh, somewhere where people who want to... Uh, want to go ahead and donate food can do so and so we're gonna make some a room for that so yeah down here we've got a whole bunch of shops first we've got gorgon opted with his uh honest trading trading station something like this give what you want put in take out do that sort of stuff um it's uh, pretty nice people have mostly been quite good though people have also been using it for dumping ground for their cobble and dirt and stuff like that but th you know that's that's pretty cool. This is one of the things that happens. Over here, we've got a, uh, a little Minecraft pub, I've been told. It is closed, but I'm just going to go, ooh, spoilers, and walk uh, walk away. We're not going to do any more than that. And then over this way, we have a, a bunch more things that people have built themselves. This is pretty cool. I've not really seen uh, anything going on. We've got Sir English behind there and Cubic. Cubic's got himself a skelly spawner out over that way, so I should imagine he's selling produce from that over here so a couple of people on the server particularly head crab and wise have decided to go with the building option of going all the way up to the top and then building back down which uh interesting interesting i've i've never actually seen anyone do it that way before but it seems to be working out for these guys so like more power to them head crab uh not head crab gorgon opsid sorry is going about it kind of in the way that i would he's building a floor going up a bit building a floor and it's definitely how i built this oh, doesn't it doesn't it look inspiring from back here? It looks really dystopian. We were talking about this earlier, about how it looks dystopian. I, th I think that's fine. City centres tend to look dystopian. Let's move away from here. I don't want to blow up people's builds. So what, one of the big problems we have is people don't seem to get the spawn algorithm. That's cool. Not everybody knows these things. I've been playing the game for... Ooh, nearly 10 years now, so, uh, you know, what I what I assume is general knowledge sometimes actually isn't. Uh, but, yeah, we've been getting a lot of not well lit up builds, so that's... Guys, if you're building, light, light up. Lots of torches. Uh, the, the one thing I will say, let's just make sure that I'm not going to get jumped whilst I'm here. If I press F3 but also T, and I've got the, uh, the um, mouse uh, up here somewhere. I know it's around somewhere. Client lighting. Here we go. 14. Try and keep that above seven. Uh, seven on the block. The block lighting is the one you want to watch out for there. Yeah, Gorgon Opsid with the nature build. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Does he have a... He does have a splash pool. Wow, what's that underneath there? Is that campfires or something like that? Nice. Nice. Okay, let's move on and see what Headcrab's been up to. Uh, I think someone might have got ignored whilst they were dying or something. There's a, there's a whole bunch of signs... Um, talking about how no one could hear them or anything. But Head Crab's, Head Crab's base, he, he is doing a wonderful thing. I was kind of hoping people would do this. And I, I don't know th if this is actually what's going on, but he's building uh, banks and stuff like that down below. And I, it would be great, would be amazing if he's offering these out to other players. Now, that bit, I don't know. That bit, I'm just like wildly conjecturing. But I, I reckon like the ground floor of people's skyscraper builds would be prime place to offer people the um the, the real estate so to you know just offload a bit of the building pressure what what is going on here sorry i just i was suddenly that's nice that's nice i like it i like it i'm not i'm not really gonna do a full tour because you know we'll we'll do this with the actual builders themselves just having a look around i really like the uh the floor pattern in here over this way just across the bay we have wise who seems to uh regularly miss the memo about the chunk alignment every time uh, some 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 build gets up i mean like look look at, look at that kind of hurts man kind of hurts but you know what whatever whatever we're 
tens of blocks away from spawn. <laughs> that's that's all cool. Uh, so Wise has been doing a bit of fox breeding out here. A little out of hand at one point, but that's no problem. Uh, I don't know if he's got anything in particular that he does or doesn't want to show. I'm just going to show you ground floor here just to show that people are living pretty nicely. So with the building of what I'm starting to feel looks like a pizzeria here we moved the portal because it was originally like right there or something like that we've moved it over here it just feels a little bit more natural like a place to to, to see it you know it's it's a welcoming area so why wouldn't it be there and of course to see anybody else's base we have to travel a little bit of distance away so over here we have uh, Zed Tech and his crew we've got ash and ant uh sir english uh and Thanios turns up every now and then uh, it's quite quite a crew quite a crew they're living in their own gated com pillagers. Let's just keep moving. They're living in their own little gated community out over this way. I came around and drew a little, uh, little border for them. Why have they got so many pillagers around? It's quite scary just walking about. But anyway, this is their farm. Man, expense, extant. No, expansive is what I was going for, but why not? Expensive as well. But they've gone around and done some good things here. I love the uh, scarecrow; it's looking pretty cool. And of course, we have ZTech HQ over there. I'm not sure if anything's going on here. Is this like an actual village? They've put down the bell, but maybe uh, not. Oh, this is Ash's shack. Uh, that's, that's looking cool. Looking cool. Love the use of the diorite. I know, I know a lot of people don't like diorite, but I actually think it is pretty nice building material, particularly the polished stuff. Um, I really love the Atlas. I've spoken about this a couple of times. So at the back of ZTEC HQ, we have this path that just kind of leads off off to a shack that I'm actually, if I to be honest with you guys, I do not know who owns it. It's just kind of this nice little area over here. So let's go and uh, stick our face in, see it, see if there's a nameplate anywhere. I just I like to know where people are living, you know. Looks like it's just someone's mining hole, a bunch of furnaces up top, and then some stairways down. I'm not gonna go jumping down there. I'm not going to get any useful clues. If I wanted to, I could use the block lookup functionality in the uh, in the protection systems we've got, but I'm, I'm all good. So one place we missed because we took the portals was uh, Cubics here. You can see we're just round the back of the spawn and over this side, uh, through that tree there, over that side there, you can just see the side of the shack that I said was a new building. So we're all relatively close. And this is Cubic. This is his um, skelly spawner down underneath here. He's got a little drop tube sorted out. You've got to kind of like squeeze through there. So yeah, Cubic's place is uh, pretty nice. He's got a skelly spawner down here. I don't know the exact workings of it. I, I like these water tubes. These are like one of the best things about the update aquatic ever. Uh, I believe this is where you come and do an AFK. I am just going to kind of slam a torch down there. And be like, all right, you can be safe now. <laughs> you can be safe now. Uh, but yeah, they get pumped up somewhere around here, pushed in over a drop, and then all sorts of wonderful things happen. I think he's also got a bit of a base up top. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, he's got himself a melon farm and uh, wonderful things going on around here. All right, back in the nether. We've got spawn back over that way, but if you come down uh, this way... In fact, I'm not going down. It's a slime chunk project. They're, they're building a slime chunk project, but we're starting to run out of time. And there's just a couple more bases I want to show. That's embarrassing. I said a couple, and um, all I want to do is show a forest here. Forest has come and lived in a village. Well, rather, he found a village uh, in the desert. Funny enough. Let's see where we are. He built himself a nice little shack. I like the banners. They made me think there was no uh, no texture for a moment. That was pretty cool. And then did, did something crazy. He elevated the village. Well, he didn't elevate the village. He dug down underneath the village. But now he's got this amazing situation where, like, golems keep spawning down. Uh, falling down. Sorry, not spawning down. Falling down. Uh, and then they'll, they'll make a new one. And, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Forrest maybe this hat. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're going to go around. We're going to try and like find a ba uh, find a place for my base. I don't know what I'm going to do for a base. If you have any ideas, let me know. I would like to know. Uh, it's obviously something extremely sci-fi. As far future as I can place it. Um, I, I can't quite do living around a black hole, so we'll, we'll try and have to think something about that. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! I'm going to take this hat off. Bye! <laughs>